Hey, so it's been 20 years since the Spiva report started. You might be wondering what the Spiva report is. I actually linked to it directly in our video here below. Um, so Spiva stands for S&P uh, indices versus active. And there's a long debate in our industry on which is better, active investing, where you're picking and choosing individual stocks or a fund manager that's then picking stocks, or is it better just to buy the index, which is a just a collective group of really all the stocks. If you look at like the S&P 500, um, that's five, 500 of the largest companies in the United States or in some cases the world. And is it better to buy S&P 500 or is it better to try to find a manager to pick stocks? And what's very interesting is, is this is a report I've been following for a long time. Um, so over the last year, basically 55% of stocks have, or uh, fund managers have underperformed the index. So you think, well, that's, that's not horrible that there's 45% chance I could get a manager that's gonna outperform the S&P 500. What I've noticed though over the years, like three years and five years, that percentage would be fairly close to that. Um, maybe 40 to 30% of managers outperforming the index. But because of all the volatility that we've had in the market, uh, managers just haven't been making the best choices. So the index now between three, five, uh, 10, and 15 years, the S&P 500 has outperformed 85 to 90% of all mutual fund managers. Uh, that includes active ETFs as well. So really, you know, it comes back to our investment philosophy as buy long-term healthy asset classes and then have the right behavior to lay on top of that. Meaning when we're going through periods right now, this, these are buying opportunities. Um, these, are, these are not opportunities where you'd be selling assets because the markets are down. No one likes losing money, but if you know in the long term that it comes back and that di you're getting paid dividends from those 500 companies that can get reinvested while the prices are lower, um, you actually come out ahead. And that's essentially what buying an index and holding an index fund does. You're buying that index, you're holding it. Um, you might reallocate it, you might move a little bit to bonds at times because stocks outperform bonds over time. Uh, so you might have to reallocate your portfolio, but ultimately uh, this is the data that shows us that passive investing wins if you have the right behavior. Uh, Read, um, read through the link below. There's a Q&A section in there that is really good about explaining further about how, how the SPIVA report is generated. And they also include other indexes like foreign, uh, small cap here in the US, mid cap. Uh, as you dig deeper into other asset classes, you'll see that the indexes even have a higher percent chance of winning, which is very interesting because a lot of people think that you should buy the S&P 500, but then hire active managers outside that. And there's really not a case for that either over um, the last five to 10 years. Thanks for watching.